Hello and good evening, boys and girls. This is Etheric777. Tonight back with another little narrated flight video and uh, also Etheric's low-cost production. And uh, before we start, I'm sorry that I didn't show it up since a while, but you know, house moving and all that uh, was really occupying my time. But now it's over and I have time again to do some new things. And uh, that's what I actually did. I was building up a little new copter, the Q30 from iFly.info and I would like to do the test flight together with you today. So, um, you know my Q40 also from iFly.info is uh, the big brother of this one here. This is really a very tiny copter. When you see my hands, uh, could cover the copter complete. We have 30 centimeters between the motors, so really something that you can uh, get very easy on a backpack. Now, that are not all the components that I actually want to use in the future, but it's uh, something to run the test. So, uh, of course, we have again the Graupner E-Props uh, because I have uh, very, very good, uh, how you call it, experience with this. Uh, always working good. Uh, then we have the Turning G2.2 uh, LiPos and uh, I use them uh, also on the other copters and here they work uh, a bit more than 10 minutes. Uh, not just running the copter but also the video transmission system. I have here the 10A uh, Hobby, Hobby King uh, ESCs. Um, I was reading that a lot of people have problems with them, but so far they work really good. And then I have here something that is not the final project, uh, product, it was just to test it fast, and that is uh, a Foxtec uh, video transmitter with a clover leaf. So uh, this one here will be um, replaced with, with Immersion RC because uh, I have uh, the video goggles with um, with another frequency and uh, yeah, so we'll change that. Oh, I moved the AQ50D from the Q40 to this copter uh, because it's so little and so it needs to be uh, stabilized. And then we have here a security cam. The reason uh, is that this should work out very well in low light and um, yeah, to show you something, I have to get fast my transmitter and I did something different to this here and as you see when I move this here I can move the camera up and down now I could do that also with my video goggles with the sensors but for now I do it in uh, in this way here and uh, yeah that is something that I want to test today and I took this camera as I told for the low light now so here we have my setup today we have here the um, the Foxtac uh, video receiver. I have to hold the camera a bit different. Uh, then here I have my portable computer to capture uh, what we do today. And uh, I hope that this will work out. And then I have connected everything to this uh, monitor instead of video goggles because I would like to see when I fly that everything works out. All right, that was enough of talking. Now get me just a moment to get the camera into the right position again. Also the copter. And we will do a little test flight and see if that works out. And we have already um, really low light at this time by the day. Uh, you will see probably here on this camera it's already kind of low and with the other uh, copter I would go already away from the field uh, some minutes ago. So, okay, let's see how this will work out. Oh yeah, and I have to watch on the right monitor, <laughs> not on the camera while I fly. Okay, and here we go. I have to get used a little bit to it because it's a different way of flying. And you see it's a little bit, st it's still a little bit shaking, but uh, so far it's uh, flying quite stable for, for being that little. And when I go up now, then I can show to you how it works when I uh, when I move the camera and I hear or I guess you hear it too there is somebody uh, at, the, at the track there so you see that here I can move the camera so I can watch down and I can watch up when I watch up there are some disturbances in the picture so for now I'm interested to watch down because I fly in an area where, where, where I like to go high and uh, yeah, I have to say, I have to watch out that I, that I don't lose the copter. I can, I can see it on sight, 
that's why I fly today with the monitor by the way because uh, oh yeah now it's too far to see it on side probably just a little black spot um, and you see it's very high right now when I go down with the camera I can fly very high and I hear this guy on the track ah yeah now I can see him I hope you can see him too let's go a little bit down and hope that we don't lose the connection now um, as I told it's a, it's a bit hard to fly when you have the camera straight down because it's it's a bit harder to uh, to know the way um, to get the, the, the shaking away because um, you know you don't feel that much where the wind is coming from right now there is it's a bit of wind but uh, on the other side you can have these nice pictures like this guy down there jumping around and uh, that's very good for for filming now what we will do is I go a bit up with the camera and go a bit down with the copter all right and that works even very nice so with this way we have the possibility to show uh, a lot of different angles and uh, if I will do this now with my um, video goggles then I just have to move the head up and down and then this will work out very well now what is nice also is when there is a lot of Sun in front of me you know you have these stripes sometimes in the lens like this here you see that and all is becoming dark and you don't see nothing anymore instead when you go down then you, you then you don't have this problem so uh, you can avoid uh, to uh, to have these stripes in the picture okay now we have a little bit some, some little problems with the video signal and we are going back slowly to the airfield now this looks strange <laughs> I have to go up a bit with the camera otherwise I can't fly it that easy and we go a little bit down here and there it's uh, getting a bit dark but all in all uh, this fox stick sender is uh, really working very well so what we have here is uh, it's a place where they go with the dogs to, tr to train dogs now I would like to see if I can go until there because the video signal is it's really very very good so far and yeah what I definitely will need now is a ground stage because I, I, I capture this video right now in MPEG 2 so um, uh, this is not the original how I saw it Oh, that's very high for this little copter <laughs> but uh, this is a compressed video all right so I want to bring the copter down I get the camera up into the normal position again and we'll do a speed flying here whoa okay, the camera is a little bit shaking by this speed but now <laughs> uh, remember this is a, a mini copter just uh, for fun flying and just to bring it fast with you when you or well an eye in my case when I go a bit around to uh, just by feet with uh, without bringing too much of things with me all right I don't know if I ever showed this this here is our that's the place where we uh, where we go when we have our meetings modelism meetings all right uh, let me see now when I have the camera up like this here like this I told then I can go more near to the ground and it was raining before so uh, I don't want to go too deep there we have some disturbing so when I have the camera in the certain position I don't know why then I have some little disturbing in the picture I have to see if there is something with the cable that uh, maybe when the when the pan uh, tilt system is moving or the servo not pan tilt then uh, maybe the cable is moving a little bit all right now uh, that was five minutes let me go fast oh, I have an animal in my eyes that's not so nice to go to the track so uh, now because I'm here and I have to fly to finish this pedigree the propeller in the picture uh, that's the RC track where I normally go with my mates uh, with the cars 
and you see there were a lot of works done. It's uh, ready, we were, we were using it now sometimes mm -hmm. here and there. Uh, they have just to clean some little things, but all in all, it's, uh, it's really at a very good point. Now, let me get the camera a little bit down. And we can do a flyover. So a lot of tables are there. And uh, yeah, it's, it's really good. You will realize there are some shakings right now because the wind is becoming stronger. I will show that to you. There you can see it. Now the wind is uh, actually a bit stronger here and there. And you see, this is, as I told, a mini copter. So really not bad for this wind. Okay, here we have some disturbance because I can't fly, of course, over my head. And I hear the beeping. That means that we should go down slowly. I have even, uh, for security reasons, another warner on the, on the copter. Because I still don't know the exact time, but so far, uh, as I told, near to 10 minutes, what is really very, very nice for this little machine. Okay, now with the wind, it's not so nice to land this machine because uh, you saw I was not putting up any feet or something, just, uh, just to make it uh, not so heavy, but also then to put it on the backpack. All right, now we have the wind. I will land it on site because, uh, as I told, it was raining before, and uh, I don't want to land it up in the in the grass or something. Yeah, low light works very good. Now this is on a monitor. That means uh, it's 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 really cool because uh, in the video goggles, of course, the picture is much better than here on a monitor. And yeah, I will land this now. I thank you very much that you watched this video. Um, leave a nice comment. Comment. Come back soon. And bye-bye. All right. Where are you?